Miriam. For that, here's Erica. In the swimsuit round, judges will be looking at body shape, tone, symmetry, complexion, poise, presentation, and overall condition. They are looking for fit, feminine physiques, and any excessive muscularity will be penalized by the judges. Thank you very much. Our first competitor is Sandra Augustine. She led after the fitness round. She's a fitness instructor from Elk Grove, California. And talk about a busy schedule. She teaches 20 aerobics classes a week. She's also studied ballet for 13 years. Thanks. Born to compete in Fitness America, fitness training makes her feel Thanks. just like a kid again. When I was four, I wanted to do gymnastics. My mother wouldn't let me because she said I'd get big muscles. Then when I was in junior high school, I wanted to swim with my friends. And she said, no, because you'll get big back muscles. So I was in ballet for 13 years. My experience with ballet was it didn't move fast enough. It wasn't dynamic enough. I think some people are born to be graceful and elegant, and others are just born to be quick and strong. And you know what, Dave? The Fitness America definitely encompasses both of those. And uh, I really would say her mom was definitely wrong. Muscles are okay on a woman, and as she shows it, she looks absolutely beautiful. She's done a great job, beautiful symmetry, and her score shows that. Score of 12 makes her pretty tough to be here today. But Melanie Knight will certainly try. She's an account coordinator from Ventura, California, was the first runner-up at the Fitness America Southern California Regional. She's had 15 years of various dance training to go along with her seven years of coaching cheerleading. And when it comes to stage presence, she's certainly not lacking in that area. I've been dancing for uh, 12, or 12 to 15 years, something in that range. And I'm used to performing, so I've been on stage a lot. And I had some flexibility because of the dance background. And I pick up stuff really fast. I was able to choreograph my routine myself. Dave Coy, she does have uh, one thing she will need to work on as far as what the judges are looking for is her symmetry and her tone. She'll need a little bit more tone, trim down that lower body a little bit more, and uh, have a little bit more spectacular of a suit. Uh, are the little changes that I see that she can make. The panel of judges tabulating their scores right now. And they give Melanie Knight a score of 21. That moves us now to our third competitor. This is Tracy Traskos from Kalamazoo, Michigan. She's a gym owner and a certified personal trainer. She placed first at the 1000 Central States Fitness Competition and holds a Bachelor of Science in Community Health Education. She says if it worked for the support of her family, she may not be here in California today. That's the one thing I definitely learned the most this year is that um, your family and the people around you are really, it's very important that they're supportive and it sounds sort of cliche, but it's very true. Um, just making food and getting things done around the house is never enough time for anything, so it, it helps if they're supportive. If not, I don't really think you can do it. And she is exactly right. It, it takes a lot of dedication from the entire family to help you out to, to compete in one of the competitions. Six hours a day of training and plus doing all your meals and everything. But you know what? She's got a beautiful job, as she always does. And with her 12 she dies, Sandra Augustine. We still have two competitors to go. Denise Maffioli sports her swimsuit. And we come back to the Friedman Forum. 